Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Casper. Welcome to Takedown. Now, they're the unsung heroes of our sport. You see their work every week on every wrestling website and on nearly every episode of this program. They travel the world working long hours for little or no pay, pursuing a passion for photography and for mankind's oldest sport. Tony Rotundo, Larry Slater, Justin Hawk, Jeff Riccio, Joey Krebs, and Johnny Johnson all joined us on Saturday's edition of Takedown Radio to talk about life as a wrestling photographer. I've been involved in the sport my whole life. Um, I was coaching at Berkeley High School um, before this. Uh, before that, I did a little refing. I, uh, I've kind of done a lot of things in the sport. Um, my father was a coach, so I got into it when I was about four or five. Wow. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, really from day one, because he was a coach uh, when I was born. So uh, I grew up uh, with the sport, um, loved the sport, and uh, about 10 years ago, started shooting some pictures and uh, started working with John Sachs at Tech Fall and uh, just, you know, loved it, loved it. It was, I knew immediately it was the way I wanted to give back to the sport. Then halfway through, you know, a couple years into it, I was like, wow, you know, going to the Olympics is a great tenable goal. It's something to reach, something to strive for. And so I just I just kept doing what I love to do, kept honing my craft, kept really, you know, investing in gear, spending the time traveling, um, working hard on my day job so that I could afford to uh to travel and and keep uh keep updating my gear and keep really doing what I love to do and USA wrestling uh uh tapped me to go to the Olympics. It was fantastic. It was an amazing experience. Um, yeah, I just loved it. I, I, I truly cried real tears uh, at Helen Morales' medal ceremony. Talking with Larry Slater. Larry Slater, photo.com, one of America's great photographers and, and an attorney. Do, do you practice, uh, what kind of law do you practice, Larry? Yeah, well, I've got a, uh, I call it family and small business. And, and since about uh, maybe 10, 11 years ago, I, I set up out of my house. And so I've got a farm property and I've got a, uh, uh, a, a, mo- a modular home in the back where I set up my office there. And so I, I work out of the house. And, uh, uh, and then I've also got a photo studio and a dark room uh, uh, in that modular home. And so, uh, so I do the photo thing and the legal thing all in the same place. What's the shot for you that after you take it, you, you know that that's going to be a good one? Yeah, yeah, this is a really good question because most people think, uh, you know, is there some, like, great move or, or great uh, scoring point or winning the whole match that might do it? But it turns out that, that the really better-looking shots a lot of times are not even good wrestling moves. But you want to see face, you want to see emotion, you want to see angles and turns and some good lighting. And so uh, things come together so it looks like a really good picture, but it's not even necessarily a great wrestling move. One of the big reasons that I got into photography and have enjoyed it so much is the idea of capturing those moments and kind of saving them in an authentic way uh, that kind of can even supersede what our memories can do. Um, Because, you know, we're constantly getting information as we're watching something, and our, our bandwidth just can't, you know, comprehend everything that's happening so when you freeze frame a moment and then you can go back and relive that by looking at that image uh it it, in a lot of ways can can be more than what we experience living it and being there in in first hand what what are you learning by shooting more and more wrestling and more wrestling events of what you want to do with your craft in the sport well you know like uh like larry was saying earlier they put you with you know 50 60 other photographers sometimes and you guys are all taken from the same angle. So, uh, just the way that my mind works, I'm, I'm always trying to think of how can I get a different perspective, even if I'm in the same position as somebody else, you know, if that's, uh, focusing on something different than they're focusing on or, um, you know, taking it a different focal length, like doing a wide shot when everybody else is doing like something that's really tight and up close. Um, you know, if it's something in the post-processing, I'm always kind of, trying to think of a different way to tell that story that, you know, differentiates the picture I take from the person who the 20 other people who are taking it from the same vantage point. Again, we can't thank these guys enough or overstate how very important they are to our sport. Now, if you haven't yet, go back and listen to the entire two-hour broadcast of Takedown Wrestling Radio. You'll find it on our website, takedownwrestle.com. Again, caps off. 
to all of our wrestling photographers. All right, you're watching Takedown thanks to Yellow Blue Ecotech. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Right now, get any large original or flatbread Supreme Pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. At Cookies, sauces and seasonings are business, but food is our passion. Our secret ingredient is Cookies Flavor Enhancer and All-Purpose Seasoning. It makes pretty much everything taste better. You can use it on meats and in marinades, veggies and seafood. Try it on pasta and even popcorn. Pick up a bottle at your local grocer and enhance the flavor of your favorite foods. Cookies For more ideas and recipes, visit cookiesbbq.com. Cookies is the one. for generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defense so defend what you have built. Every college wrestling fan has undoubtedly heard the term Tiger Style. Well, it may sound just like another hashtag or marketing slogan, but for Missouri wrestlers, it's a way of life. After reading a book by legendary football coach Pete Carroll, Brian Smith began writing down his thoughts and ideas about coaching and life. From those writings, the Tiger Style Pyramid was created with four key principles. Believe, compete, be a leader, and expect to win. When you tell the story of Jaden Cox, you have to begin with Tiger Style. What is Tiger Style? Well, it's about more than just what happens on the map. It's the all-encompassing lifestyle that every Mizzou wrestler adheres to. It's what's guided every single national champion that has come through Brian Smith's training room over the last 18 years. It is Missouri wrestling tradition. Tiger's hand is raised in victory as a national champion. Then his portrait goes up on the wall of the practice facility. You know, it just kind of makes you a little bit more hungry. You're like, I, I can still think back, and I remember that specific moment, especially that's painted on my wall, of raising your hands and just knowing that it's done. And I want to feel that again. Jaden Cox was a national champion as a freshman in 2014 and again as a junior in 2016, adding to a pedigree of champions created by Tiger Style, the top-to-bottom, all-encompassing training program created by Mizzou wrestling coach Brian Smith. Tiger style is a lifestyle and these guys have lived it. Basically from the moment you wake up um, until you go to bed, giving your best effort in everything you do, it's about responsibility, it's about dedication, you know, commitment, doing what you're supposed to do even though it's so hard. And what Tiger style is about, you know, developing winners on and off the mat. Taking the right but maybe hard way rather than the wrong and easy way. In 2015, that Tiger style path led to yet another Missouri wrestler reaching the pinnacle. Drake Howdeshell became Mizzou's fifth national champion. He used to joke with Drake, call him, oh, captain, my captain, because he led, he led through action. Drake's not a general that is yelling from the back to charge. He's a general that's yelling charge and running with his troops in the front. Because basically we don't have a long tradition of success here. You know, we do in the past, you know, 15 years at least, but you know, most wrestling schools goes back 30, 40 years, you know, somewhere around there. So see, we have a newer tradition, and uh, it's just awesome to be a part of it. Yet another portrait to add to the wall. And I think that's what we try to uphold 
And I think the beautiful thing about our tradition is that it's still giving us steps to take. All right, thanks to Ben Arnett and the Missouri Tigers Network. Takedown continues. Stay tuned. It's after the break. Homemade crust. Fresh meats and vegetables. 100% real mozzarella. There ain't nothing like the smell of a homemade pizza when it comes out of the oven. Of course, those pine tree air fresheners smell pretty darn good, too. Casey's, famous for pizza. Introducing your favorite dip on a pizza. Pick up the all-new spinach artichoke chicken pizza today. Yellow Blue wants to show you global energy demands are expanding at an alarming rate. Power grids in the U.S. are aging while coal plants continue to close at record rates. Utility rates are at an all-time high and there's no end in sight. If this concerns you, call Yellow Blue, delivering products and services that are not only green but cost effective. You can be independent, safe, and secure. We'll show you how at yellowbluetech.com. Dan Gable once said that once you've wrestled, everything else in life is easy. University of Scranton student Carmine Garrity would probably agree. Garrity is the executive producer of an on-campus program called Thursday Theater. That's where he challenges other students in their areas of expertise. In his seventh episode, Garrity stepped onto the mat to face one of the top wrestlers in the school. Let's take a look. So how do you feel about your chances of winning? Mike, I'm very worried today because I'm going up against Ian Evans, who is a junior and he's already the third leading winner in wrestling in school history. So uh, I don't feel very good about this one. Although I outweighed the 157 pound Evans by about 25 pounds, his 87 and 16 overall record really scared me. I spoke with the team's head coach Al Russomano, who's in his 10th season. This year's team's nine wins is the most since Russomano took over, and I would need all the advice I could get going up against Evans, who's only seven wins away from becoming the second winningest wrestler in Scranton history. Coach Russomano showed me the importance of a good stance and always maintaining your balance. Then senior Eric Kalimino, the biggest guy on the team who wrestles at 225 and 285, showed me how to do a double leg takedown. With the entire wrestling team watching after practice, I had to show them I couldn't just be thrown around. And then I had to confront my opponent. Is there anything that you like to do a lot that I should look out for to guard against? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you that. No, absolutely not. After that final advice, I was ready to take the mat. You've got to be aggressive. Watch his ankle fit. Good stance. Okay. okay. It's not over to the whistle blows. You get out there and you get him. Okay. okay. With the whole wrestling team watching, I was ready to get it on. Right away, Ian caught me in an ankle pick, and I realized why Sal said to watch out for that. Eventually, I was able to fight him off. It didn't take long for me to realize this whole wrestling thing might be a bad health decision. Less than a minute into the match, I was already dead tired. Thankfully, my headgear falling off gave me a rest. To show these wrestlers I wasn't some wimpy TV personality, I chose to go on without it. And I think that got him on my side. 
Facing a big deficit, I remembered Coach Russomano's tip of tapping the head of the opponent. But that didn't keep Ian at bay for long. I was starting to feel like a WWE wrestler who was scripted to take the loss. But I wasn't ready to give up and play the part of the dummy in Ian's show. After I made that one good move against Ian, I realized it was going to be all downhill from there. <laughs> I could hardly breathe from exhaustion, and having Ian twist me into a pretzel didn't help. Then, he delivered the knockout blow. What'd you think about my performance other than putting up a fight? I actually thought it was a lot better than what I expected, absolutely. Yeah, you're scrappy. You didn't give up easily. Yeah. You, you like playing with my head, which I didn't like. So, yeah, you look tough out there. Definitely Thanks. wrestler at heart. What would you tell someone who maybe doesn't know that much about wrestling? They think two guys are just going at it, tackling each other. What would you tell them? Um, it's a lot more technical than, as, as you noticed, than you know, m other sports. It's a lot, it, it may not come off as that. Like, it may just seem like two guys going after each other, very primitive. But it's, it's a lot more technical and a lot of angles. And uh, it takes a lot of years to perfect you know, technique, so. Well, thanks, Ian, for having me here. No Appreciate, Appreciate the fight. And now I'm two and five in Thursday Theater. <laughs> Special thanks to Carmine Garrity, Mike Levin, and the University of Scranton. Look for other episodes of Thursday Night Theater and other great features from the Royal TV Network at the address you see on your screen. Wrestling fans, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Koi Cooper's coming up next. You're watching Takedown, powered by Nike Wrestling. Yellow Blue wants to show you three great ways to make your home more comfortable. Install a hybrid solar home system, utilizing solar power in the day, battery power at night. Install a solar attic fan to reduce heat and moisture from your attic. And install a multi-layer reflective insulation blanket in your attic to reduce the cost of heating and cooling. Conserve energy, save money, protect the environment with Yellow Blue Ecotech. Learn more ways at yellowbluetech.com. Speed the Sauce Man here. While sauces and seasonings are our business, food is our passion. And we've been helping make your favorite foods taste better for years. Try our wings and things hot sauce and everything from chicken wings to your morning eggs. Use it in recipes like spicy chicken noodle dinner, party dip, and buffalo chicken pizza. It's not only delicious, but it's award winning too. Wings and Things recently earned first place honors in the hot sauce category at the National Barbecue Association's Award of Excellence competition. Remember, smart cookies use cookies. Proudly made in the USA, Danmar offers incredible protection and customized gear. I'm Tony Ramos, NCAA champion and world team member. Take my word that Danmar Warrior headgear is the best. It's what I use. Look for my limited edition signature headgear at a retailer near you or online at danmarwarrior.com. I'm a world-class warrior and you can be one too with Danmar. Follow me on Twitter at T underscore Ram 133 or on my website teamramos.co. All right, welcome back. 
He's a motivational speaker, a coach, an author, and founder of the NWCA's Best of Brand Awards. Dr. Coy Cooper returns to the program. Coy, it's been a while. How are you? I'm good, man. Even better since I get to catch up. I always enjoy chatting with you, so thank you for having me, man. New book, uh, quickly climbing the Amazon bestseller charts. It's called Make Your Mark. Tell our viewers about it. Yeah, it's a brand new book that I just turned out. It's something that I'm I'm crazy excited about, and it's what it is is this. There's a lot of people who who want more in their lives. They want to be more successful. They want to be better in their home lives, and, and this book is designed to help people do that. You know, it outlines things like getting clear with your vision, identifying your goals, getting the right habits, um, overcoming failure, but just to get people to the point where they're living lives that they love. And so this is something I worked on for the last year, um, have put together a course that goes with it. And yesterday was an amazing launch to this thing. So I'm pretty excited right now. Let's talk about how it relates to wrestling, particularly the coaches and the athletes. How can this benefit uh, those guys? Well, I mean, a lot of the book is performance-based, right? So, I mean, coaches who want their athletes to be more successful, they want to be more successful. You know, there's a lot of things mentally that that a lot of coaches don't cover, and, and I think they're missing out. And so the ability to go through, um, have their athletes working through how to set the right types of goals, uh, something I know a lot of coaches definitely don't do is attaching those top goals to habits and, and just putting a structure in place that allows kids to get more results. So this type of process can help them athletically. It can help them in the classroom. Um, it can help coaches build build their culture. Um, I have some coaches already who are jumping on board. Brian Smith at Missouri has his entire team reading it starting this Wednesday, and I'm heading over to visit with them to talk to them about it. So these coaches who get this mental aspect, um, I think this is going to be huge. Isn't the mental aspect the biggest part of uh, uh, or perhaps the largest hurdle an athlete has to go over? I think so. And, and I think it's one that I, I sort of failed with when I was in college. And um, I didn't I wasn't focused on the right things. And you look at guys like Kyle Snyder, who are, are just amazing. And he's focused on the right things. His goals are clear. He simplifies his life. His lifestyle around that is is simple, but highly effective. And there's a lot of things that I think that college athletes don't understand and maybe even coaches don't understand. So this is a process that I think will help with that. We're talking with Dr. Coy Cooper, his new book, Quickly Climbing the Bestseller Charts on Amazon. Make Your Mark is the title of the book. Remarkable lives are not an accident, they're earned. What can you tell me about that statement? I, I, I have to agree with it, but talk to our viewers. Well, I, I think a lot of times people think that um, people are just born with things, and there's no question that people have some gifts, but when it comes to the most amazing people in the world, when you study them, there's a process to it. You know, you know, guys like Richard Branson, Oprah Winfrey, even your Kyle Schneiders in wrestling, you know, they they know what they want. You know, they, they get very focused on that, and they create a structure um, where they're very intentional with their actions every single day. So if you want to be great at something, you got to be intentional. It's not an accident. It's earned every single day. That's the second part. You don't get anything handed to you. You must have that process in place. And then you got to be crazy disciplined every single day to go out and to get the results because you've got to improve as a person. You've got to improve as an athlete. And when you get that part right, then you can really accomplish some amazing things. So there is a core purpose to one's life. That's not an accident. No, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. There man. are aspirations that are in alignment with a core purpose. But you've got to connect the dots, and that's an everyday deal, right? I think so, yeah. You know, when you, you know, a lot of times, here's what people think, right? They'll go, um, I, they'll be intrigued by something. They might even be a little bit passionate about it. And then they go out and they try it, and it gets hard, and they go, oh, it must not be a passion. And that's not true. When you're passionate about something, this stuff gets hard. You know, when I was writing this book, it was not easy all the time. It was hard. But if you get good at just continuing to focus on what you want, moving through, moving through, you know, your passion gets stronger, your vision gets stronger, and then eventually you just, you love it, you know, but there's still those points where, where it's hard, but you got to learn to embrace that as well. So many coaches are buying into this and buying copies of the book for their athletes. I think that's cool. It's an affordable experience at twelve ninety nine from amazon.com. What comes with the book? I know there's another step, a bonus step. Yeah, I think this is one of the coolest things about the book. I think the book by itself can help people get results. But a lot of times when you read a book, 
you go through and they're very effective, but you always seem to want more, especially with good books. And so what I wanted to do is offer more. And this book comes with a with a 14 module master course. It goes it goes right along with the book. So you read a chapter, there's a video that goes with it, there's an activity sheet that goes with it. This is the type of course that would be like a $200 plus value. And you get it when you go purchase the book. You go to Amazon, you search for it, you buy it. And then when you get it, I'll just show you real quick. When you get it, it comes with a code uh, to access it, which is pretty cool. So this is what I this is what I'm working with on a lot of teams. You're right. It's it's crazy affordable. A lot of times you're paying thousands of dollars to work with people on these things, and these coaches are basically getting this thing. And a lot of times I'm skyping with their teams and getting them rolling. But a very affordable way to get into this type of mental training, and and not only that, but helping your athletes not only get results in in wrestling, but in all areas of their life. It's so important for our sport. For our kids to go out and be just really, really successful in all areas. The MakeYourMarkBook.com is a site you can go to for more information on this book. We encourage you to do so. Coy Cooper's been there for wrestling. And, of course, this does affect wrestlers and coaches, the entire athletic department, surely. Uh, Coy Cooper is a, a, a Ph.D., and uh, you can look for him online as well on Facebook and many other opportunities online as well. Coit, what do you want to tell our viewers as we close? Well, man, I just appreciate the opportunity to get to chat with them. Uh, I think this is an experience they won't regret going through. I just say get the book, commit to the course. You want more in your life, whatever area it is, happiness, success, results, whatever it is, you can get it. But you've got to be willing to go through the steps and earn it every single day. Well, special thanks to all of our guests on today's show. Look for more interviews, articles, and giveaways on our website at TakedownWrestle.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media as well for the breaking wrestling news as it happens. And listen to the Saturday morning radio program as so many of you do. For all of us in Des Moines, I'm Scott Casper, and we'll see you next week.